Hello everyone, in this video I have my second project with the Thompson's Craft Supplies July kit. Now I'm going to start this video with a confession. You may notice that my photo there has already been backed and matted and the reason for that is is I was about three quarters of the way through the original scrapbook layout for this and I made a hor horrendous mistake. It all went horribly wrong and I've started again from the beginning. So just to explain why that photo has already been, been backed, I just backed it with a random paper from my stash and then had done some stenciling in the graphite uh, glitter paste from Bow Bunny around the edges and then backed it on that basically um, and no I'm not going to show you a, a picture of the thing that went horribly wrong it's too embarrassing but let's talk about this layout shall we so I'm using that paper there from the kit which is from the Kayser Craft Island Escape collection I think it's called Pink Hibiscus this paper and I'm using the B side of it and what I'm doing there is stamping with the Kayser Craft stamps from the kit I'm going to emboss them with some black embossing powder um, I've done the hibiscus stamps in the corner and I was going to use one of the phrases, phrase stamps from that stamp set but I'd already used one in another layout and most of them about like sun and sand and sea and the picture is not to do with sand or sea so I decided to just get this Summer Vibes stamp which is from the Prima Santa Pay uh, collection. I did buy that stamp set from, from Louise but I have no idea if she's got uh, any more. But yeah, so I stamped and embossed that as well. It's Nouveau Black embossing powder I'm using. Um, not for any particular reason, just happens to be the black that I've got. Although Nouveau embossing powder is pretty good, I'm not going to lie. So those long pieces I've got up there are from one of the cut apart sheets from the kit. And I'm just going in with a little bit of stenciling with Nouveau Gold Glitter Paste and the Chevron stencil, which, sad face, is falling to pieces. I bought it from AliExpress some time ago. And although for an AliExpress stencil it was pretty good, it's just, yeah, I need to get a proper good chevron stencil like a proper brand one because yes as i said falling to pieces so i'm gonna go in now with the shimmers creamies in i've forgotten the name of the color but it's a purple um which was from the kit i'd already sprayed the water on it about five minutes previously because you know give it some time to activate with the water and then just using an aqua brush i'm sp spraying water directly onto those areas as well and yeah, just going over with the watercolour, or well, the creamies, basically a shimmery watercolour, over the embossing. I just think it creates a really lovely effect with the resist of the embossed area and stuff. When it was dry, I going back in again, just I wanted it a little more purple than it originally was after it dried. So yeah, just going back in again. I do kind of like in places, because I didn't actually gesso this page, surprise, surprise, because I knew I wasn't going to be doing a ton of wet media on it. Um, because I didn't gesso it, it's actually lifted up some of the pattern in places, the watercolour, and I actually kind of like those little white bits, I think they look kind of cool, yeah. Anyway, now I'm taking those pieces that I'd cut from the cut apart, I'm distressing the edges, and then going in with ink around the edges. I realise I do this in almost every project, and you're probably bored of it, but when you find something that works and you like, you want to do it all the time. That ink I'm using, the Lawn Fawn, is from actually from a previous kit. Well, that blue one I was just using there, this purple one is from this kit. But yes, um, that blue one was from last month's kit, I think, the Shabby Chic kit, which I think, if you're interested, there's still one or two available. Just as an FYI, if you see any of my Thompson's Craft videos from months ago or anything, and you're going, oh, I really like the look of that kit, but you think, oh, it was months ago. There are a couple, not all of them, but a couple of the kits, there's still a few, a few remaining from previous months. So it's always worth going and having a look. But yes, the purple ink, as I said, is from this month's kit. It goes so weirdly well. Well, not weirdly, but it goes really well with that Shimmers Creamies purple. Obviously, they're different types of purple and different tones of purple, but... They just work together really, really nicely. Although I will say, obviously, as I've, as I've said before, you will get a random choice of four inks when you get a kit. Oh, and that reminds me, I should say, at the time of recording this voiceover, which is Thursday evening before the video is published, there is only one of these uh, Tropical Escape kits left. So, yeah, get on it, because there is there's one, one left. Anywho, that thing I've got up there that says we dream of summers that last forever, that was from like the the journal card cut apart sheet and it was uh, a big 4 by 6 one and I've just cut out the circle because I didn't want the whole big thing there and I'm kind of using that as my title. 
of yeah we dream of summers that last forever which to be honest for those of you who know me are probably watching this going you don't mean that grace and to be fair no i don't summer is not my favorite season i don't do well in the heat but what i kind of mean by that title is there's like there's kind of an atmosphere in summer that's kind of like happy people are more relaxed and generally more positive about things does that make sense i don't know your people tend to be more Bleh, in the winter even though i quite like the cold but yeah, so some of the season itself with the heat I don't want to last forever, but that kind of positive vibe that you get in summer, that would be nice to last forever. So that's what I'm going with with that title anyway. And now I'm going a little bit flower crazy and using pretty much most of the flowers, the prima flowers that came in this kit. Those little flowers, however, I'm using, apart from the one at the top left there, the blue one, which did come in the kit, those little flowers, they were a gift from the lovely Josie. Hello, Josie, if you're watching, and I just love those flowers. You may need to tell me where you got them from because I just keep using them and they're so pretty. The vellum leaf I put down, um, didn't get on so well with the matte gel and has wrinkled a little bit, so I do have to go back and fix that. I was going to use those crepe paper wild heart stickers for like a subtitle because I wanted something at the bottom right of that photo, but the gold wasn't right because it, it's quite a warm gold. It didn't go with that stenciling I'd done, so instead I went to my rather large collection of Mabby chips and found this black gold and white one that says today was a good day and also those glitter hearts I'm putting down there and I think they work better um then yes then the warm gold it just you know it wasn't quite right as much as I love those thickers those are an add-on item for the kit by the way then sequins of course because apparently at the moment I can't do a layout without sequins I just love them just like last week I'm avoiding the silver ones obviously because I've already got gold on the layout I've sped the sequin putting down bit up a bit so hopefully you don't get too bored but I'm kind of there's kind of a diagonal thing going on in this layout from the bottom left to the top right, so I'm kind of having the sequins go on there. I mean, obviously there's a cross shape as well going on, so there's a lot going on, but the most obvious shape is that diagonal, so that's where I'm putting the sequins down, just around there. Ugh. Sorry, <laughs> randomly out of breath. Um, yes, and I'm going to finish off with some gold Heidi Swap Colour Shine, which as we all know by this point is sadly discontinued i'm not too worried about using it too much because i do have a spare bottle but yes I've, and i haven't used it in ages mm, no but yes just splattering that again along that diagonal shape as well just yes i just like the gold and the purple and the green together and then all the little colors of the flowers and stuff and good grief i am adding a lot of color shine on this one but as i said it's okay i've got a spare bottle it's really not the end of the world I'm sure we'll all find something to replace it. It's just you get used to a product, you know. Um, to cover up where that vellum leaf had wrinkled a bit, I'm just putting some Tim Holtz uh, tiny words down there. Um, I can't see on my screen what they say currently. But yes, the picture, which I realise I haven't talked about at all, is just me and two of my sisters. Um, last year we had been in a hot tub. I don't know why my elder sister isn't in this photo because she was definitely there. But yes, just a nice summary photo really, which I wanted to document with this kit. And there we go, I am finished. Thank you so much for watching. This um, layout for some reason was really, really hard to photograph. So I apologise that these final shots they don't quite reflect the colour as well as it like was in real life, but sometimes that happens. But anyways, that's quite enough from me. Links, as per usual, in the description box. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Comment with any questions or if you have anything to say. I am going. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye!